Cowboys Nation. Byron Jones. I'm going to tell you this before I'm going uh, to kick you to this little video I got. Uh, guy's a team player no matter where he goes. Uh, the, it's kind of self-explanatory in the video, but I mean, he's a beast. So my point is, is wherever we put him on defense, he's going to be a team player. He's going to he's gonna do good. And uh, I, look, I look forward, and I hope he starts where they move him to. I've heard some talk they might not start him where they move him to, but uh, in all reality, he probably will because he's he's just really good. Uh, he's a good guy on and off the field. I mean, he never gets in trouble. Uh, he stays healthy, so hopefully, hopefully he does good. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this whole situation, but I think it's pretty cool myself. Uh, anyway, continue to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to hit that like button. I'm out. Peace. Joined by Cowboy Byron Jones. Byron, it has been a crazy offseason. Before you know it, we're going to be back in Oxnard at training camp. Seems like yesterday. But you went on a different vacation, if you could call it a vacation, or, or giving back to the community. Could you tell us a little bit about what you did down in Haiti? Yes, exactly. So I spent about five days in Haiti working with a nonprofit group um, called Worldwide Village. And our main goal was to build a home for a family of nine. Um, one thing I loved about this organization is that they work with community leaders to create sustainable communities through education. Um, they're teaching women how to sew clothes. They're teaching uh, men how to uh, build construction up to the U.S. code. So it's it's a lot of involvement um, that they're doing. It's not just going down there and giving aid and you know praying for people. It's about really building the foundations to create jobs for people. And I like that. I like that initiative. How did you even hear about this? Like, this is so cool. You know, we were so excited to see these pictures um, and see the video and what you're doing down there. But how did you even hear about this? opportunity so kind of a long story but i was at an investors meeting for a movie premiere um and i met a lady who was involved in some community work so i, I wanted to get involved in the community somehow some way and um she directed me to a man named uh, randy mortson he runs the uh, worldwide village organization and from there you know we connected we tried to do it last year time didn't work out um but right after the season this year he hit me up and he was like hey we have an opportunity for you to, to help a family of nine out do you want to be a, a part of it and i said heck yeah and got on the plane the next you know two weeks and and the rest was history. That's commitment. And and we're seeing this picture of the machete. Oh, yeah, machete. found a machete. Never, I've never seen one in my life, so I had to pose with one. Yeah, and, you know, just, <laughs> you know, you say never seen a machete in your life, but just some of the different images and different people that you met, mm -hmm. how rewarding was that? It was beautiful. One thing you learn about that country is it's incredibly beautiful. You have beautiful mountains. Um, you have the ocean, obviously. It's a Caribbean country. Um, and, and the resilience of the people there and to find things to do and to find ways to work and, and make a living for the family, it's, it was beautiful to see and it really was inspiring for me mm -hmm. to see um them push to their circumstances yeah absolutely and then you know a lot of teamwork building as far as doing building this house and knowing that it's going to be for someone else that's a lot of football you know i don't want to correlate too much of it but you guys all had to work together of course yes of course and that's football principles you're working together as a team and when we're in haiti i was working with a group of about 12 haitians to build a home and it was nice to like see that um you know the money that i given is employing other people and mm -hmm. to build a house for someone that's life-changing in the united states and more even more so in haiti and to be a part of that was just like man i can't wait to go back next year absolutely we'll follow worldwide village is that right yep. yep and see everything that they're doing see what byron was up to talk of the town thanks so much for joining us today cover four we'll be back mm -hmm.